Hello everybody, anybody new to my channel, my name is Jeff and welcome to Home Machinist. Also, anybody new to my channel, I'm terminally ill. I have a lung disease called pulmonary fibrosis and my symptoms quite regularly show themselves. And uh, breathing heavy, things like that. But anyways, a couple days ago, we got back on the wheels. Uh, I got to get some projects caught up and uh, the wheels were one of them. So this is kind of a prior priority right now. And we're going to get them finished up this week. But anyways, we started a, started some wheels for a Losi Pro Moto MX RC dirt bike. Right here, the front wheel, the rear wheel is right there. Um, we already did a little video on that. And uh, we're also making the hubs. Now, Austin, um, I call him my apprentice. He's making the front hub. This is his uh, round stock right there. Um, when we started this, I th I didn't have the correct diameter length round stock. So um, I had two pieces of square stocks. So we turned them round. And it's actually, there's a video on that. We turn them round. And uh, this Austin has plenty for work holding. But the longer piece only had enough to just get that hub out of, as you can see. So we had a work holding issue that was going to come up. And, and I stress this in, in other videos. Plan your jobs out. And when I started playing this out, I knew it was going to come down to having to do the detail on this side of the workpiece, this detail, and we were going to have a little bit of a work holding issue because there wasn't enough material. And we certainly can't draw right here. So I knew we were going to have to make a little fixture. Uh, in this video, I when, I when I machined this fixture, that I turned around in the three jaw and faced the side. And you can see it wobbling a little bit. That's because one of these sides doesn't matter. Um, we don't need parallelism between the two sides. We only need one side to be square to the OD and the ID of this fixture. So this fixture started out like that. I had two pieces of 1018 on the shelf. I had a big piece, which is this one. And I had a little piece, and that's the piece I used for this. So it was already, it already looked identical to that. It had a bore. Um, it, was, it was turned. So we started with that on this. And the thing about this fixture, it looks simple, no big deal, but it's highly accurate. In order for us to indicate this in the lathe accurately, two bearing pockets that got to run concentric with each other, we have to have no more than 1,000 to 1,510 clearance between the ID of that and the OD of this part. When I turn this, I put a step right there, same diameter as that intentionally, because I knew that was going to help me with my work holding when we needed to do the detail. So we're going to make this fixture today. The bore is highly accurate. The OD and the ID are dead concentric and highly accurate, and they have to be. This part's going to go in like so, and then we can jaw, jaw it in the forejaw four and indicate it in. You can't have a lot of slot between the part, or you'll never get it to indicate. So, we're going to make the fixture today, and then we're going to indicate this into zero with the fixture. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe my videos, please. I, uh, I'd be very appreciative of that. And uh, let's, uh, let's get busy on this. steel um, we're, uh, we're down to only 50 thou from finish so we're only going to do a, a 50 thou in feed that's only 25 per side all right here we go last cut
that don't look too bad for 1018 steel. I'm only going to do a 15th out pass just to start cleaning up this bore. Oh, let me back this out. It's, it's out around as you can see. Um, this was previously cut. So I already had an OD cut on this to that bore. And it's in the three jaw, so it's not going to chew up real well. But what we want to do, we want to kind of skim cut that bore until we start to bring it in round again. Um, with that out around, that eccentricity, the tool might tend to follow that a little bit. And uh, it'll cause some accuracy issues at the end. So we're going to go ahead and start skimming it. 15 at a time until we get it round. I just did two 15 passes. The ID is now concentric with the OD. I got the dial bore gauge out and I forgot. Mine don't measure to 1600, just shy of that. And, uh, <clears throat> but we need to bore this to 1600. And uh, we'll use our part to, we'll use the hub to test fit. So work holding fixture is underway. We got a ways to go. looks pretty good um, so I'm going to do a 50 thou material removal here on this bore and then I'm going to shut the camera off and get this boring done I got quite a bit to remove we we're sitting at uh, 11 a uh, one inch 100 thou so we'll be at one inch 150 thou and then we got to go to one just shy of one 600 so let's do a bore and then I'll go ahead and bore the heck out of it until we get near finish and I'll bring you back so this is a decent chip removal.
bad. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna bore away. Okay, let's go check our bore out. It's looking pretty good. We're not quite done yet. Let's see if we can get in here and look at this. All right, so that's where we're at. We got another, believe it or not, we got another 300 pal to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back to boring and we'll bring you back when we're close to finish.
So we started out with a piece of aluminum that wasn't long enough that was going to give me effective work holding to do the entire job. So I knew I had to make a work holding device. I knew exactly how I was going to do it when I started it. And here it is. So our OD and our ID is done. The ID is cut to 15 10 thousandths clearance between the two ODs that, that it's going to hold. And we're ready for the slitting saw. So this, this OD here and that OD are identical dimension. This is going to slide in. It's really close. All right, it's going to hold. And with, when we put the slit in the side of it, we'll be able to hold that in a four jaw, indicate it in properly, and finish our detail on that side. Ready for the slitting saw. So Austin is deburring our work holding fixture that we just used the slitting saw on. And I forgot to record the video of the slitting saw, but there's the saw. There's, the There's a little work holding picture, not much to it, simple, effective. Now, well, and Austin's doing a little deburn. Oh, she deburred. Again, there's the detail we need to do on the other side of this part, and we didn't have enough material to draw on. So we made that work holding picture. So, how did it do? I zeroed it, worked absolutely perfect. There you go. Simple, effective work holding. Improve it's loaded. I just took it off to took it off the part in the back. There we go. Good stuff. All right, time to do that detail. I forgot to show you how true the bore ran. That's pretty important since we're doing a bearing pocket on side on this side. <clears throat> so the OD, the face, and that bore were all cut concentric. To each other before we did the work holding but here's our bore that's how well how true it's running there's a little chamfer there so that chamfer might throw you off a little bit but that's running true as true can possibly be all right i'm gonna get busy okay it was a success so this week we're going to finish up the wheels and the hubs and then we're going to get back on this project right here. I've got to get some projects caught up and uh, the wheels and the hubs, we, we just got to get this done and, and get it taken care of so it's not a, on the plate anymore. So we were a total, we had total success in the, in the fixture. Uh, fixture is simple, efficient and effective and highly accurate. Uh, worked great. Again, we go over how important it is that you maintain a very tight tolerance between the fixture and the part. So we were success and we're done. We're moving on to the next. But the next video again, this is the very next project on the plate, on my plate. And uh, it's still sitting here. Beautiful stuff. We're going to prove square, squareness and parallelism at the beginning of the next video on this. But this week, we're finishing up these wheels and getting them done. These wheels and hubs are a lot of work. We got to put all the spokes in on the uh, rotary table. We got to get the hubs done. Again, this is Austin's hub here. And I'm doing the long one. But anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you all. And I hope you all have a fantastic work week. And we'll see you in the next video. And that will be the completion of the wheels. Take care of yourselves.